What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another installment of the CFL Commitment Series. Guys, what did I say? What did everybody say, right? After the SWAC Championship, in this month especially, but after the SWAC Championship, you were going to see a bunch of recruits who were just on the fence waiting to commit to Jackson State actually commit to Jackson State. And now the floodgates have opened. Jackson State has a commitment from a transfer receiver who played at Texas A&M for three years and then his last year at Indiana before deciding this game. Oh, and guess what? He was at the SWAC championship yesterday. So after that game, he wasted no time announcing his decision. I think he just did it a couple minutes ago. It hasn't even been an hour yet. I don't think. It's a couple of minutes ago. But this kid goes by the name of Cameron Buckley. Now, Cam is 6'2", 195 pounds, and he is a wide receiver from Cedar Hills, Texas, uh, from Cedar Hills High School. Now, he was a former three-star prospect. I think Rivals had him as a four-star guy as well, but 247 had him as a three-star prospect. So he, three, four-star, whatever you want to say, right? Nationally, he was ranked 372 in his class. Um, at his position, he was ranked number 55. And in the state of Texas, he was ranked number 52. Now, in his three seasons at Texas A&M, he was really productive, all right? He, he was productive. He had 62 receptions, 899 yards at his three years at Texas A&M. Then he decides, you know what? I'm going to transfer to uh, Indiana. He does so, has an ACL injury. You know, it happens, unfortunately. He rehabs, um, and he's gotten his knee back better. And every every single workout video you see of him, like, you know, he's, he's fine now. You can tell that knee is fully healed, right? And he's back now. Cameron Buckley is a guy who could play out. He plays on the outside. That's what he is. He's an outside receiver, but he does not mind playing the slot as well. And he can do so. He's went on record saying that. Um, and that was before he even got to Jackson State. But I looked on Twitter and I seen his po Well, somebody sent it to me because I can't take credit. Thank you. You know who you is. Um, I looked on his Twitter and he had this long paragraph about how he wants to be the change, right? How he wants to be a part of it in his last year of college of college eligibility. He has bought in to what Coach Prime has been preaching from day one. He's one of those guys who I guess Coach Prime just knew, like in the back of his mind, like he has a group of guys who he who he knows are going to commit, um, and then guys who are still like you know so so. So I guess he was one of those guys who Coach Prime felt like okay. He is going to commit, and it happened, right? So, looking at this dude's highlights, I like his game. I like his game. Now, of course, I might be a little bit hyped because of everything that's going on right now. Jackson State going to the Celebration Bowl. Um, all the kids that's coming out and everything like that. But I do like him. I do, and I, I would be remiss if I didn't let that be known. Y'all let me know down in the comments below how you feel about this kid when now that you're seeing his tape, right? Um, I wish, well, of course, I know he wishes the ACL injury didn't happen as well, but I wish it didn't happen because I wanted to see him um, see what he can do at Indiana as well. Keep in mind, he's not the only guy. Mark Pope Jr. is still on defense, right? Uh, Kevin Barnett from EMCC, he can be another receiver that's coming on top of the receivers that they have this year who have not even played yet, right? Um, who else? Coach Prom's former uh, receiver in high school who also played in Indiana, he entered the transfer portal. He's picked up an offer from Jackson State. We don't even know. We don't even know everybody yet. Like, this is the, the first of, I think, many. Like I said, he at Jackson State and Coach Prom are trying to go hard, right? He said this recruiting class will shock the world. He's trying to shock the world with this recruiting class and do even better than he did the first year. And I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. We have to wait and see. I, um, I have a few commits in my head who, who I personally talked to who told me um, – how close they were to committing to Jackson State, I can't disclose that information, of course, but just know. Just know, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a wild ride. Y'all need to get ready for what's going to happen, bro. I'm telling you, right? But that is it. That's all I have to say on Cam Buckley, man. Um, can't wait to see what he does 
at Jackson State. If you want to uh, follow him on Instagram or Twitter, I will put those pictures up so you can do so as well. Follow me on all social medias, please and thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, most importantly, if you want these updates, like how I'm going to be giving them out to y'all. Because y'all know, ever since last season, who was the one who, who was the one hooking y'all up with the commits and everything like that for JSU? That was your boy. That was your boy, all right? Not to say that you can't get it from any other channel, because of course you could, but I'm just saying. Now, with that being said, man, you are watching the CFL Podcast. I go by the name of Kobe, and I'm out. Peace.